Hey, thank you so much for checking in and finding out a little bit more about me. So whether you've found me on your own or whether you've been referred, it is my honor. Thank you. And to share a little bit more about me and my journey, I'm in my mid forties. I have lived a very interesting, tumultuous, challenging, and absolutely amazing timeline in my journey thus far. And in my efforts to understand myself, my own health and wellness across all dimensions of my being, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, I've delved deep into learning across so many different disciplines. And this has enabled me to be able to really serve my clients and my communities in some really pretty profound ways. I often look after quite complex cases because of the complex and deep and rich and vast knowledge that I hold. And at the same time, I can also be absolutely here for wherever you are at um, on and in your journey to hold that light of inspiration to show you that, yes, you can do it. There's so many aspects of life that I myself have lived through that I can often find a pathway of relationship, of understanding, of empathy, of compassion um, to link in quite in, in a very attuned way to my clients. And I, I really love being able to do that. And I began my journey looking after people back when I was 17. It feels like lifetimes ago. And I was halfway through year 12. My mum had started a business in beauty therapy and I went and worked for her there. I finished year 12 and started my diploma of beauty therapy. And from there, I went on to even more extensive studies in dermal therapies and moved into holistic skin therapies. I studied yoga. I studied NLP, neuro-linguistic programming. I studied Qigong. I studied to be a naturopath. I was really deeply understanding that to connect to someone from skin to within that I needed to understand more about the interconnectedness of life. And even after I studied my naturopathy degree, because I was so focused on the gut being the center point of our wellness, that left me with still many more questions. And what I then delved into was a, a much more expanded understanding of our body and our nervous system is being the master regulator of our body. The thoughts that we're thinking and the responses that are happening through our soma are happening kind of at the same time. So psychological and physiological, you just cannot separate them. So if there are things manifesting on a physical level in the body, I also want to look at the root cause of what's going on on a psychological level. What are the undercurrent, subconscious, unconscious or conscious beliefs? What paradigms and conditions are you placing upon yourself or have been placed on you by family, education, society, culture, like all these different realms of interaction that we've all been born into and some of my fundamental core beliefs that I have worked deeply through is an inherent I used to have an inherent feeling of unworthiness that I was unworthy undeserving and not enough that if people got to know me they would understand that I was fundamentally flawed and broken in some way and so as a result, over the course of my lifetime, I initiated lots of different masks <laughs> as protective mechanisms and behaviors. Each mask has its own kind of soma, its own physiology, and I could interact with a number of different groups and people in different ways because of these thick masks that I had on. It wasn't just my personality, it literally was how my body responded to life as well. So I've had to do a lot of unraveling, a lot of unlearning, and a lot of then reclaiming the truth of who I am. And that means that I've reclaimed my voice. It's, I've reclaimed my creativity. I have reclaimed my expression in so many different facets of life. I trust myself. I trust my body. I trust being happy in the skin that I'm in. I can be happy in the skin that I'm in. And I can look after myself utilizing a number of different skills, tools, and resources that I've collected across this lifetime of deeply wishing to understand the human body and the interconnectedness of all parts of life. So I study, teach, and share ecosystem wellness and I can explain more about that if we decide to go deeper or perhaps I'll, there's a blog post or another video that you can connect with. There's podcasts and resources on my webpage that you might want to have a listen to to get a greater depth of understanding of the things that I know and I share about. I am really excited to be able to 
I don't know, be a participant in the intersection of this journey of life. If you do choose to work with me, please know that I am going to be creating a, a, a pathway of illumination into all these different parts of you and how to navigate more safely into growing your capacity growing your ability to respond to life rather than just consistently being reacting to life. This is a process. This is a journey. And yes, you might have some specific goals and outcomes in mind. However, part of the way that I work with people is to get you to become much more present within yourself in as many moments as possible. And in that way, you get to appreciate each moment to its fullest degree and I truly believe that that is what life is about. How can we get a little more aware, more conscious and more engaged with the immediacy of the choices that we're making so that we can be living our mission and our purpose and with happiness and with love and with deep gratitude. And so this is what I would like to guide you in, support you in, mentor you in. I look forward to hearing from you if this resonates.